So I'm several days into 10k a week. I'm really tired. It's 2.18 a.m. right now. I don't have a script written. I don't have any notes normally. I just jot down notes and kind of speak off the cuff if you, if you can't tell on this channel. But I have a really interesting story and lesson that I want to share. And it's going to probably be obvious to many of you, but I feel the need to say it anyway. Earlier this evening, instead of working on the next video, which was the smart thing to do so that I wouldn't be up <laughs> this late, I decided instead of that it was time to figure out color developing at home. Now just for the occasion, I have a sandwich bag full of rolls of film, and these rolls of film were taken out of cameras that I bought from thrift shops like Goodwill, stuff like that. So my attitude was, hey, you know what, if I mess this up, it, it doesn't really matter because it's not mine. I know that that's pretty selfish, but I also thought it'd be cool I could eventually make a video and say, hey, I found all these photos, if they're yours, let me know and I'll send them to you. So I went into this with the Cine Still Color Simplified Kit and I had their temperature control unit. I've never done any of this stuff before, so I was just kind of figuring it out as I went. The first two rolls were toast. Someone opened the camera, they were all just, you know, burned, nothing. But I was talking to a couple of my friends throughout the process. Aroma Tissue and Ferret Flip from the Discord, they're my homies, they're the best. Sierra and Jacob from YouTube, also my homies, also the best. And they were saying that they thought I was doing it right, which was awesome. So I grabbed a third roll out of the bag, I figured that was going to be my last one for the night before I started editing. This one was Kodak Gold, it was from 2000. I put it in the developer and the Blix and all that fun stuff, see I sorta of know what I'm doing. I hung it up to dry and I was really happy because I saw frames, there were, there were photos there. I held it up to the light, you know, I don't have a magnifier or anything like that, and I saw a dog, I saw some balloons, some old Oreos, it looked like someone's graduation party. And I thought, oh, that's, that's really sad that these photos were lost. Then I scanned them. I had a tremendously big brain moment when I said, Oh wow, what are the odds that this kid's name was Lou as well? And then I realized, Oh shit. <laughs> this wasn't some stranger's role. This was my dad's roll of film. He gave me his old Pentax to mess around with around the time I started this channel, and there was a roll of film in his camera bag, and it got mixed up with these other ones. The kid's graduation, it was me. My grandparents and my dog, who are all no longer with us, are on this roll of film. And to think this roll of film was just sitting in a sandwich bag for like years. And before that, sitting in a camera bag for years. I could have very easily ruined this roll of film. I was just trying to figure out developing color film at home to save some money. But these memories, these parts of my life that are long gone, these people who are no longer with us, they're all preserved. Photography is so important. Even if you're just taking a snapshot of the moment. Doesn't matter what camera you have, doesn't matter the composition, doesn't matter what film you're using, if it's digital, none of that shit matters. Because 20 years from now, you're gonna look at these photos and they're gonna mean a lot to you. And these photos probably don't mean a whole lot to you, but I gotta tell you, this stopped me in my tracks. This was such a big deal to me, and I felt the need to share it. And that's all I got for today. P.S. I'm probably playing Pokemon Snap in this picture, can't verify, but it's a safe bet. Like, like and subscribe, subscribe. to Sweet Lou Photography. Photography. You're the man. man.